Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This one will be a little bit different. As you can see we're back at my French cottage because this time I'm gonna explain you something that has been recently changed in the game. Which is for example the item display, but you also have block display and so you can say here block display and text display. So if you summon that then you'll see that you have an item on display, that's what's in the name. I'm gonna kill this thing. There we go. Yeah, so if you place something and you want to have it removed, you can use this command and then you'll remove up to five entities, can change to 10 or whatever in a three block radius. If you place something incorrectly, you can do that and it will be all gone. That one is that it basically just displays the items and it also displays blocks. There's a couple of things you can do with it. As you can see, you can make a broom. I got a broom here with, with the handle stick and without the handle stick. And you can just place that somewhere in your build as a degradation value. As you can see over here, it looks like our good old landlord or landlady has a broom next to the door. You can also use it for details in your build. For example, instead of using the banner as a shutter, you can actually make a shutter and play this right to your window so you can build blocks next to it and make it look like it's closed or open or whatever you want without uh, needing the block space for it. I also try to add some hinges here so it makes more sense. That's also something you can do. So, it's very interesting, right? Something that you can add to your build to add more details to it. All you need is obviously a command block as the code can go. It is a lot of text. <laughs> I'm just going to show it all. And it's a command line for each and every item that you see here on display. But I will, however, show you how you do it. Because I can imagine placing every single one of these blocks is going to be a big pain. It's going to be very annoying. So it is actually a program, a free program if you want. Not, not a mod, it's a, a browser program that you can use. To make your life a lot easier. And I will show you that right now. So this is a program that we're using and I know it might look a little bit complicated if you've never worked with a modeler before but it's actually pretty easy. So there are a couple of things that you already see that are pretty much the same as in Minecraft. Just as you have with the block display, the item display and a text display, this is big the same thing. So if you click on these then you get all the blocks so here you get all the items and items are basically everything that um, you can't well maybe you can't place but most of them you can't really place like in uh, like air you can't place air obviously so if you look at this program you will see that you have three lines and those are the same three lines you have in Minecraft if you enable the hitbox so we got the y-axis the Z axis and the X axis, which each have their corresponding uh, direction, obviously. So let's say we are taking a normal, a very normal block. Now, oh, there are a couple of things you can do with this thing. So, for example, you can move the block, which is, you know, normal stuff, or you can click on this one and then you get the rotation oh. then also well I don't wish to donate I'm sorry so you can also click on this one then you can scale it then you got these weird handles over here and if you click on them and drag them you can scale it you can make it as big as you want or as small as you want small yeah there we go look at how tiny the thing is so cute Right, you well, can always control Z to undo your things, of course. But those are like the basics. You can also do it manually over here if you put your uh, the numbers in, you can put them all the way back there with a by little block. Or you can rotate them with the slider or manually. And you can also scale it manually depending on how you want it. So that's pretty much all there is to it. And once you it's kind of finicky to play with, but once you know what you're doing or once you've played enough with it, it actually makes a lot of sense. I prefer to do it manually and get more control on it like that. 
or if you drag it then you don't really know exactly it's gonna be a random number uh, whatever you do right so that being explained let's make a, a small little thing and I'll explain a little, a little bit more about it let's cut this uh, right here you can see it I'm trying to add a plot and I added the stem important thing with this is that if you want to have place your plot in the middle of your table then you gotta make sure that your plot is also in the middle of the block if you want to make sure that your plot touches the ground then you gotta make sure that the plot touches this bottom line as well if you don't do that then you probably have your uh, pot off centered or floating on the ground so you really got to make sure that your uh, block is aligned correctly where you want it to be uh, as you saw earlier in my Minecraft world with the, uh, the shutters I made sure that the shutters like hit this corner over here as I wanted it to touch the corner of this block so I gotta make sure that it's placed correctly or else it's gonna look very weird but you'll probably notice that when you're playing with it and also if you place something and you just wanna have the same shape as this block but you don't wanna redo it you can also just duplicate it here and then you'll see that you can just play around with it again so you don't always have to redo everything you do That's a little flower, I know it doesn't. It's not the prettiest flower you've probably seen in your life, but it's just a small example, right? Say, so for example, if you want to make a custom flower or something like that, I don't right now, you can perfectly do that. But there's one small thing uh, I still have to tell you guys, and let's say you made your whatever you did, then you can also uh, cl click on everything with uh, hold shift and click everything that you wanted to be grouped together so for example all these flowers and all these stems so everything is now clicked on or you can do that over here so you can just click on it there we go I missed something so you can also just if click on this thing then you want to group this and then you will see that you have one thing that's just one entity now so you can move all this together so that's very useful to do if you want to move it somewhere or maybe you're making a very big thing then you can group certain parts together that you can then move for example that you want to maybe build a car maybe you just want to make a big sports car then you can maybe make a wheel then group the wheels then copy the wheel because i can't copy this entirety now then i can move this okay so you can make big things with it uh, but one thing that's very important to know is if you want to export this right now like this then it will look black because it doesn't uh, the game thinks that this thing don't have any light on it so what you want to do is in your collection there's an additional NBT here one add brightness sky 15 and block 15 on it but the game knows that you have light on this thing now once you've done that and you're happy with your thing you can basically just click up here and press export and copy that's all you do and then you have to go back to the, the game but before i forget 
uh, very important detail is that you can obviously you can save this save file and then uh, you can save this uh, this file. It's a BD Studio file. Uh, and all you got to do then is you got to save it. For example, flower. I can save it, and, and then you can also load it on a later date. For example, if you want to use it again in a different build, or maybe a year later you want to use it again, then you don't have to rebuild everything. For example, this one, if I want to load this one up, there we go. That's the broom that I used in uh, my world that you saw. You can just load that up and export it again, and it works just as fine. So it's definitely not a waste to make these, to spend some time on these, as you can keep using them on all your worlds and then all your servers and then all you gotta do is play the command block and copy your code in there and place a button of course look at all that text that sounds good thing is that you don't have to worry about a single thing that's going on over here as you did that in a program and this is basically everything you place in the program but then in code form i would advise to put your flower in the program a little couple of blocks the back or maybe x2 so it doesn't spawn inside the block but maybe that's something you rather have as you want to say like oh maybe i put a, a table here and it's easier for me to just place the thing on top of that and then uh of course that's like got in the command then place the thing and then there you have it it's placed down so maybe you want that but if you want to have placed a little bit further then you can of course change that uh with the with the program as well so there you have it, there's our little custom made little flower, I saved that and if I ever wanted to use it again, I could do that whenever I want to. And there you have it, that's how you make these custom made entities. I hope you learned something from it and I hope this makes your build just a little bit more interesting. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!